I heard today's your wedding day. Why didn't you invite me? I feel lonely. But today's a joyous occasion. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Sarah, thank you. I'm sorry I couldn't invite you. Really? Even though you're my only sister, I feel lonely. But you said you were busy when I talked to you about my wedding, so I didn't think you would come to the wedding. Family comes before work, you know. You're not that heartless. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. It's fine now. More importantly, I heard your new husband is wealthy. Amy is marrying into a wealthy family. How do you feel now? Do you feel like a princess after all? No, no, it's not like that. I feel the same as before. Really? But you're marrying into a wealthy family, so it's okay to indulge a little, right? Like going on trips or shopping. Even if you're not interested in luxury brands, good things are worth it. Just by raising the price of something a little, a woman's value can increase multiple times. Is that so? I don't think it's like that. It's true. From now on, Amy will be associating with people who have those things. So be careful, okay? If you keep using a shabby looking bag like you used to for years without changing it, people will laugh at you. Uh, Sarah, I'm sorry. I really want to talk more, but... Well, that's right. It's your wedding day, huh? I'm sorry. I've been too excited. I also had something really good happen today, so I wanted to share it with you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm a bit busy right now, so I'll contact you later. It's okay. No worries. Uh, by the way, say hi to the groom for me, okay? Sure. I understand. If there is a groom, that is. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. Wouldn't it be difficult if the groom wasn't there on the wedding day? So, if the groom is there, please pass on my regards, okay? Why do you know that Roy isn't coming to the wedding? I haven't told anyone yet. Really? Is that so? You should tell everyone as soon as possible. That rich groom ran away on the wedding day. <laughs> Sarah, how do you know? Please, if you know something, tell me. I can't get in touch with Roy at all. So you have to tell other people quickly. If they hear that the groom is gone, the guests will be surprised, won't they? Sarah! Stop joking around. You know where Roy is, don't you? <sighs> well, can't be helped. Roy's been with me since yesterday. Even now, of course we're together. I can't believe you haven't contacted anyone when the groom is missing. It's really something, huh? You should tell the guests quickly. It would be funny if they laughed. Together? What do you mean? We spent the night together from last night. I wonder if even someone as oblivious as you can understand. I... I really didn't notice. Roy and I have been dating for a long time, you know. For a long time? Yeah, for a long time. You didn't seem to notice at all. So, about today's wedding, I'll take your place and have the wedding for you. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, Roy said that he doesn't want to marry you, so I'll do it instead. It would be a waste to cancel. Thank you for preparing the wedding for me and Roy. Wait, wait a minute. I really don't understand what you're saying. Are you trying to take over the wedding? Using the term take over sounds so negative. If we cancel the wedding, it would be inconvenient for the staff and guests, right? They made time for it and it's not even a funny story that the bride got left by the groom and the wedding got canceled. So I'm suggesting that I'll be the bride instead and make use of the wedding. I think it's a good proposal, don't you? Sarah, don't say such unreasonable things so easily. I'll take over as the bride and continue with the wedding, so you can go home if you want. Thanks for your hard work. Thank you. I've explained it to mom and dad now, and of course, Roy's parents as well. They're angry saying not to do anything absurd or unreasonable. I wonder if Roy can explain it to them as well. It'll be fine. It might not seem that way now, but they'll surely understand that it's true love. Yes. If they see the ceremony, they will understand which one of us is more suitable for the groom. Your parents, his dad, and his mom will all understand. So... Please tell them not to worry about it now. What are you talking about? Do you really think something like that could happen? Of course. It's obvious, isn't it? A marriage based on true love is happier than a sham marriage. Besides, Roy is saying the same thing. He wants to marry me. In marriage, the feelings of both people are the most important. Any adult would understand that, right? If you're an adult, you wouldn't do something like this. You should do what's sensible. What you and Roy are doing is ridiculous. <sighs> Who do you think you are acting so self-righteous? Enough already. We don't need you, so just disappear already. Get out of here, you nuisance. That's right. I understand your feelings very well. Even if you regret it later, I won't care. Well then, pretending to be tough is cute. Goodbye, big sister. Amy, how are you feeling? Have you bounced back yet? It's shocking. I never thought my sister, who shares the same blood as me, would behave so recklessly. Mom and Dad were ashamed and crying. Besides... I never thought Roy would be that kind of person. I thought he had more common sense. 
Oh my, did you get hurt that much? Poor thing. Honestly, I never thought you two would be so foolish. But anyway, listen to this. After the wedding, I went to Roy's house. To his house? What for? Of course to pay my respects. I couldn't see him at all. And then, you know what Roy did? He introduced me as his wife. It was so embarrassing. Isn't it a bit too late? Did you really go to meet Roy's parents? Oh yes, of course. They will be my in-laws, so it's totally natural, right? Well, I'm sure they were surprised, even though they didn't listen to a word I said. They'll understand eventually that Roy and I truly love each other. But the fact that they didn't listen to you makes it seem like they're rejecting you guys, right? Exactly. We're going on our honeymoon from now on. Should we bring you some souvenirs? Honeymoon? Let me guess. It's Alaska, isn't it? Well, obviously. It's the travel destination you chose, right? Alaska, right? We're going to see the Northern Lights, you know. Honestly, I would have preferred Italy or somewhere else. But Roy really wants to see the Northern Lights. He's still like a child. Well, I can't help it if my husband says so. Wait a minute. That wasn't the honeymoon plan we had discussed. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Amy couldn't get married, so she doesn't need a honeymoon, right? <laughs> Are you going alone? Don't do something so lonely. So I'll take it. I never said I wanted you to take it. Roy is looking forward to it. We need to prepare for the trip soon, so I might not be able to pay attention to Amy anymore. I'm really sorry. We're so busy. I'll just buy some random sweets for souvenirs. Well then, see you later. Wait a minute! Amy, what do you think you're doing? Oh, you made it back? Good job. What do you mean, made it back? You're the worst! Do you even know what you did? What do you mean? What did I do? Don't play dumb! All the hotels and restaurants in Alaska were cancelled! It's because of you! The hotel and restaurant staff told me directly that they received a message from the wife! Ugh, it must have been you. But I didn't cancel those reservations! Look, it's your fault! What do you mean by that? I had a terrible time! Oh really? That must have been tough. Don't say it like it's someone else's problem! All the hotels were fully booked, and just when I finally found one, Roy's card didn't work, so we couldn't stay anywhere! It's peak season right now, and I booked that hotel six months in advance after searching for so long. It's only natural. Didn't you bring any cash in case your card didn't work? I only had a little bit of cash! Isn't that enough? You never know what might happen during a trip, so you should always have some spare money prepared. You never know when something might come up. It's not a laughing matter! The hotel was cancelled, so we had to stay in the airport lobby from the first day onwards! Aw, poor thing. But at least you were able to come back. That's good. You managed to somehow buy tickets for a flight with available seats and return home. It must really have been tough. Why did you cancel it in the first place? Were you trying to sabotage us? We had made reservations in mine and Roy's name, so if we couldn't go, it's only natural to cancel, right? Didn't you understand that? It's common sense, isn't it? Common sense, you say? And what about canceling the card? Is that also obvious? That wasn't me. Uh, huh? Didn't Roy tell you? The card he has is in his father's name. He's just using his father's family card as if it was his own. So, isn't it because his father got angry at your unreasonable behavior and removed Roy's rights and made the card unusable? What were you planning to do if something happened to us in a foreign country? Like an accident? Come on, tell me. Isn't it just karma that you took over from our wedding to the honeymoon? Well, it can't be helped. You two did something like that, so you can't even complain if I do such a thing. Huh? Wedding takeover was the best surprise ever! Then, canceling the honeymoon was just payback. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You got to experience something you rarely get to, right? You know, sleeping at the airport, for example. Stop being childish and immature! Just because you lost your fiancé, you're really losing it! Roy made the right decision to break up with someone like you. After all, at work, he won't be able to meet anyone cute, right? Smart people must have looked 20% cuter. Otherwise, there's no way he would date someone ugly like Amy. Amy may be smart in terms of brains. Roy chose me because I'm cuter than Amy. He said so. Even talented people end up getting dumped because they're ugly. Well, anyways, a luxurious life awaits us from now on, right? There's no rule that says you can only go on a honeymoon once, so we can just do it again. Next time, we'll book a fancy hotel and restaurant in Hawaii and do a lot of shopping. We'll have to distribute souvenirs to our friends, too. By the way, what's it to you if Roy and I discuss our future together? Huh? It's none of your business! <sighs> You're not listening, huh? Roy never says anything inconvenient to himself, so it's better to listen carefully. What's that? Don't you think it's embarrassing to make excuses for losing? Excuses for losing? Who's losing to whom? How are you going to enjoy a luxurious honeymoon life with no job and no savings? I'm looking forward to it.
See, it's not an excuse for losing. It's unattractive, you know? If you're frustrated, just say so. Well, for now, just dream of happiness. Because you'll eventually face a harsh reality. <laughs> Stop lying just because you're frustrated, okay? Your personality is really terrible. Oh well, whatever. I've given you a warning just so you know. You should face reality together. Missed call. Missed call. Missed call. Missed call. Hey! Amy! Answer your phone! Missed call. Missed call. Missed call. Ugh, you're so annoying. What's up? Didn't you boast so much and then hang up earlier? Isn't it too early to complain? Stop joking around! I can't get into the house! What's going on? House? What do you mean by house? Did you guys have a house? When did you buy it? Uh, huh? Don't play dumb! It's Roy's house! It's the house Roy got from his father! The locks have been changed and I can't get in anymore! It's your doing again, right? Don't blame everything on me. If the locks have been changed, doesn't that mean it's not your house? Are you mistaken about the house? There's no way that's true! Roy also said this is the right house! Did you do something? Mischief in someone else's house is trespassing! Property damage! I'm calling the police! Call them if you want, but they won't help you. What did you say? You must know something after all! Tell me! Why don't you ask Roy? He should have explained it properly from his father, right? F from his father? What do you mean? Roy said he doesn't know anything! Huh. It's not that you didn't ask anything, but rather you didn't listen properly to the explanation. Oh well, I'll tell you. That house is a gift from Roy's father. Huh? Th then it should be Roy's. Why can't I enter the house? Well, there's a condition attached to the gift for Roy. A condition? Yes. It's based on the premise of Roy marrying me. A gift from Roy's father to Roy with the premise of Roy marrying me. I received a message from Roy's father saying, Since it's no longer about my marriage, there's no need to give a gift, so I changed the locks. And he said that he had properly informed Roy about it. I wonder if Roy really doesn't know anything. Could it be that he's pretending not to know? You're the type of person who blames others, keeps quiet, and lies when it's inconvenient for you. That's not true! So then, this house doesn't belong to anyone now, right? In that case, give it to us! We're in trouble right now! I don't know about that. Relying on me is too convenient, isn't it? Well, well I'm not relying on you. I'm just making a general suggestion. If someone is in trouble, you should help them. Do you have no conscience? <laughs> Is that line coming from someone who stole someone else's fiancé and hijacked their wedding? Normal people don't do such things. But that's not relevant now, is it? Why is it not relevant? It's all because of your problematic behavior. Everything that happened is because of your selfish actions. No one will help you now, you know. Normal people would understand, don't you think? But, but no one is living there now, right? It wouldn't hurt to let us stay there for a little while. No one is living there, but that house is mine, so absolutely not. Huh? Why is it Amy's house? Well, you see, it's because his father told me to take it as compensation. I received it because I thought the location was good and the land would sell for a high price. His father said it was okay to sell it if I didn't want to live there. Of course, if you want to live there, you're free to do so. That's why I left all your furniture, appliances, and clothes outside as trash. If you don't want them to be collected, you better take them away quickly. They're in the way. What? Hey, why did you do such a thing? Those are really outside, aren't they? Do you have any idea how much it costs to furnish this furniture? Well then, who did pay for them? Did you go into debt or something? Even if you have a loan, be careful. If you don't have a way to repay it, you could end up filing for bankruptcy. We went to so much trouble to furnish our home as newlyweds, and you can just easily throw it away like this? If someone else's belongings were randomly placed in your house, wouldn't you also discard them? It wasn't even worth much. Oh, and by the way, I looked at the decorations on the furniture. They're fake, you know. They're the kind of items you can buy at a regular department store. They're not suitable for newlyweds. Did you even check properly? Uh, huh? Well, those furniture pieces were purchased from an online auction, and the description said they were antiques and valuable, which is why the price was high. It must have been a lie, right? Anyone can tell that they're fake. Why don't you try getting them appraised just to confirm? W well... But anyway, since it's just something to throw away, it doesn't really matter if they're fake. But it's not like you should throw away other appliances and clothes too, right? At least you could send them back to our parents' house or something so that you won't be cursed or anything, right? Oh, I already sent them back. Huh? But Roy's parents and mom and dad all said that they disowned you two. 
so they refuse to accept the packages. They don't want any of your belongings, so it's okay to just throw them away, they said. Didn't they talk to you and Roy about it? That's why I threw them away. That's ridiculous! There's no way such a stupid story could be true! I won't be fooled by such lies! Fine then, I'll go talk to them directly! I'll expose your lies and terrible behavior! If you want to expose it, go ahead. I just did what I was told to do. But just so you know, it was our parents and Roy's parents who said that they would disown you, so try not to cause too much trouble and inconvenience for them, okay? Good luck then. Amy, help us, we messed up. We don't know what to do anymore, please. You're the only one we can rely on now. Well, well, to think you'd come running to me with such lies. Whenever you call me big sister, it's usually when you're trying to push your troubles onto me. I've known that since we were kids, you know. So, what happened? I'll listen just because it sounds interesting. What do you mean, interesting? Uh, Roy's parents and her own parents won't listen to us at all, even though they welcomed us at the wedding. No one welcomed you two, or gave you two their blessings. But if they understood that we were serious, they should naturally help us as parents, right? As parents, they just wanted to cut ties quickly with their daughter and son who did such unreasonable things. That's not all! Roy's father removed Roy's name from the company's roster. He said you're no longer an employee here. And of course, there's no promise for Roy to become the next CEO. He was even told to never show his face again. Oh my, how pitiful. How is Roy doing? He's devastated. He said he can't do anything because it's what his dad said, and he's in despair. It would be nice if he could at least argue back a little. It's impossible. Roy can't do something like that. He's always been dependent on his father. He can't rebel against him. But even so... Don't you think it's unnecessary for his father to suddenly remove him from the company's roster? He's his own son! Wasn't he embarrassed because he's his own son? He neglected the woman he was dating seriously and selfishly married her sister as if it wasn't an affair. Of course his father would be angry. If he had intended to have a proper relationship in marriage, he should have respected etiquette and order. Roy's parents, as well as our parents, hate anything that goes against common sense, you know. Can't your capable husband-to-be do something about it from now on? I thought you would understand! Why did you think I would understand? Well, you're talking about true love and all that. What you did was steal our wedding and even tried to steal our honeymoon, right? Where's the true love in that? Wake up already. Even Roy. Isn't he planning to establish his own company? It's not the time to mope around like this, right? Eh? Is that so? Yes, it is. That's why I was trying to resign from my current job to support him. Oh, I see. Why didn't Roy tell me about it? Establishing his own company means he'll practically be the president. Did he feel too embarrassed to say it out loud? Was he trying to surprise me in secret, maybe? Oh my gosh, Amy, you shouldn't have spilled the beans like that! <sighs> I really envy your personality, though. Well, then again, you should support Roy on my behalf. Of course! As the wife of the president, it's only natural for me to support Roy properly. I'm sure Roy would be better off getting support from me than from you. Oh, that's right. Roy doesn't need my help after all, because you're way cuter than me after all. Oh my! Of course, right? Wait a moment, it seems Roy has something to say. Alright, go ahead. Uh, um... Sis... Calling me like that again? What's wrong, this future president? Well, you see, Roy is saying that without Amy's connections and sales skills, the company cannot operate, so he wants your help. I definitely don't want to do it, you know. Please tell him that. Oh, please! I've never done sales before! But since you worked with Roy, you know how it's done, right? You were engaged before, so please help him out. I see. As my ex-fiancé, right? He cheated with my sister, ran away on her wedding day, took over the wedding with my sister, went on a honeymoon without me, got disowned by his father, and got fired from the company. Could you tell my ex-fiancé this message for me? Absolutely not. I decline. Please, Amy! We'll offer you a high salary. We'll support you properly, too. And we'll even help you find a new person, right? We'll throw parties and events for you, Amy, right? Please. Sarah, I'm sorry, but I'm too busy starting my own company, so I apologize. Huh? You're starting a company? Amy is? Yes, that's right. But starting a company is tough. I'm busy and overwhelmed even now. I could use all the help I can get. If it weren't for Roy's father helping me, it would have been even harder. I really need to express my gratitude to Roy's father. Huh? Roy's father? Why is he helping with your company? Why? He told me himself. So, maybe you should ask him why. Oh, uh... <laughs> but, 
Didn't Roy get fired and told not to show his face again? And you couldn't even get a word in edgewise. So I guess you can't ask him. Too bad, huh? Why? Why is he helping with your company when Roy got fired? It doesn't make sense, right? But Roy is also starting a company, right? If you support him, it should be fine, right? So it's no big deal. With no backing from his father and no network or sales skills, how much can you really achieve? Isn't it exciting, right, Miss CEO? Hey, wait. So, can't you at least try to return that card to its original state? We're asking help from you. Please, we don't even have a place to live. Please, Amy. It's your cute little sister asking. Do you really think those words will work? Just because Roy's company is struggling, does that mean you should rely on others? Stop making fun of me! I've never had a proper job in my life! There's no way I could provide support! You won't know unless you try, right? If you work hard, I'm sure everyone will understand. You're supposed to be connected by true love. So, even if it seems hopeless, support each other firmly, okay, Miss CEO? I'm sorry. Please stop. I'll apologize. I'm really sorry. Please help me. Please, I beg you. I can't reach mom or dad at all since earlier. I've really been disowned. So, you're the only person I can rely on now. Please, I beg you. You don't need someone like me, right? You don't need me because you two framed me, right? Bowing down to a woman like me now, you must be out of your mind. Do you think I'll forgive what you've done just like that? That's why I'm apologizing, see? I have nowhere to live, please. At least lend me a place to stay. If you find a smaller house that's enough for both of us to live in, I'll move out, okay? Right? Well, actually the house has already been decided for sale. Because it will soon be taken out of my hands, it's impossible now. If you want to live somewhere, you should look for a cheap apartment that you can afford with your savings. What? You're planning to sell it already? This magnificent mansion? Think it over, Amy. Sure, it's a splendid and beautiful house, but it's too big for just me to live in. It's always best to choose something that fits your own size. If you reach too high, you'll eventually suffer the consequences. Stop with the preaching already! Help us, won't you? Help us? You're quite high and mighty, Sarah. Oh, no, no, no. That's not it. I made a mistake just now. I'm sorry. <sighs> How many times do I have to say it, Sarah? Do you really think your apology would reach me now? I will never forgive you or have any intention of helping you. I've realized very well through this incident how much I hate you and Roy. So? Please don't contact me unnecessarily anymore. I'll cut ties with you, just like Dad and Mom. That's not fair! Please help me! You're my big sister, right? I can't see you as family anymore. As of today, you're not my sister and I'm not your sister. Goodbye. That's all for me. That's not fair to say! I apologize for everything so far. It's my fault. I'm really sorry. I'm truly reflecting on my actions. Hey, can we meet and talk once? I'll treat you to a delicious Italian restaurant. I know a great place. Let's eat there together, the three of us, right? Please? Sarah, are you really out of your mind? Do you think I would have a meal with the man I broke off my engagement with? I'm not that kind of woman. Well, I guess so. I'm sorry. Then, let's have a meal, just the two of us. I'm sure you would like it too. Despite your invitation, I have to decline. I don't want to be seen as a woman who steals someone else's man and is considered family. Well, Roy too. He's really sorry. He wants to apologize to you right away. He must have had a change of heart. I don't care. Such a man doesn't matter to me. He has no home, no money, no job. He has no redeeming qualities. He's just someone who relies on his parents and leaves everything to others. I don't want to associate with you anymore. So, I want you to tell Roy too that we're strangers now. Don't ever contact me again. If you do, I'll hire a lawyer and make sure you receive appropriate punishment. Thanks, sister. Please. I'm sorry. I'm no longer your sister. That's why I have no intention of helping you. Well then, the two of you can work together and take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Amy, wait, please. Amy! Miss Call. Miss Call. Miss Call. Roy had been requesting interviews from various acquaintances' companies, but the incident at the wedding had already been spread around, and he was being rumored as the bomb man who couldn't do anything. As a result, he was rejected by all the companies he applied to. For a while, they managed to make a living by selling clothes and bags, but that too reached its limit, and they ended up working part-time as building cleaners together. One day, a new cleaner came to greet me at my company, and to my surprise, it was Roy and Sarah. It turned out they were working part-time at a company that had been subcontracted for cleaning. 
They didn't know it was my company, and when they entered the president's office, they looked surprised but quickly lowered their heads and started their cleaning duties. My company's performance had been growing year by year, and we were planning to go public in the near future.